how do I deal with it? How do you constantly not worry about something? So what do we call this? So why are we born? Is it an issue? What did you understand? Nothing. Remaining silent. How do you use silence to communicate correctly or not to miscommunicate? If you had asked me screwdriver, I would have answered better. Yes, silence as a tool <laughs> is a tough, um, it's a tough tool. Basically, silence is used as a tool in communication. If you are talking human enterprise, then silence is a tool. But if you are talking spirituality, then silence is a root. Mm -hmm. So understand this difference. Yeah. So let's come to the human aspect of silence. Let's start from childhood. Children use silence for that katti and batti. Hmm. So silence is a communication that I am annoyed with you. Childhood. The child grows up into an adult and he uses, continues to use this tool to communicate that I am annoyed with it. Then silence can also be used as a tool to communicate compliance. On one side it is annoyance, on the other side it is compliance. So what do you mean by compliance? In Marathi they say muka sammati. Without saying anything, I have agreed to what you have said. Accepted. Yeah, accepted. Acceptance. Acceptance. So silence is acknowledgement, compliance, acceptance. It's a communication. Silence is also used to show indifference. Tumko jo karna hai karo, I have nothing to say. Silence can also be used in situations of safety. I don't want to say anything because it might land me in trouble. So I am using science, uh, silence as a tool of safety, being non-committal. If I say something, galti se kuch, commitment ho jayegi. So better stay so silent. So silence is golden. Silence is golden. I, na idhar ka, na udhar ka. I don't want to take the risk. So it's a risk mitigation tool. These are various ways of using silence. When does silence become deafening? In two cases it becomes deafening. When I have expressed my annoyance, baat nahi karta hu ja, and the other party wants you to speak and keep in communication and you are isolating yourself. Then it becomes, it's like you're screaming at me. Aap mere pe gussa ho aur aap mere pe chilla rahe ho. So when you're screaming at me, it becomes deafening. So when you are silent and expressing your extreme annoyance with me, that silence is deafening. So this is one situation where silence becomes deafening. You are not annoyed with me, but you have stopped communicating with me because whatever communication happens between us ends up in a misunderstanding and I don't like misunderstandings. I am not annoyed, but this is the way we are. Whenever there is a communication, it ends up in a misunderstanding. So I choose to remain silent. What is comfortable silence? It's also known as companionable silence. What is a companion? Companion is somebody who, with whom you get along. Yeah. So let's take the common relationship of a husband and wife. They share the house, they share the common space. Let's imagine a holiday situation when both of them are at in the house. And then the wife has finished the work and she comes either in the bedroom or the living room where the husband is. And nothing is said. The husband is either working on his laptop or he is watching television or he is on his cell phone. He is occupied in some leisure activity which he normally does at home. The wife comes in, sees the husband occupied with whatever he does and she occupies herself by just reclining on a chair or lying down on the bed and doing nothing. Yeah? Or she might engage in what she likes to do. She might want to 
put the ear plugs on and listen to some music on her mobile mm. which doesn't dis- disturb the husband because there is no sound the sound goes only in her ear she closes her eyes listens to music the husband is still busy doing whatever he is doing both are engaged in their activity both are coexisting in the same living space there is complete silence between the two and yet there is no hostility both have given each other the time and space to be with themselves so that is comfortable silence the wife is not annoyed that the husband is not talking the husband is not expecting the wife to communicate both have accepted silence in peace and happiness that is comfortable silence now if uh, constipation is supposed to be not good for health is verbal constipation not good for health when you use the word constipation then it is not good for health what do you mean by verbal constipation you want to communicate and you don't communicate that is constipation there is also another terminology used verbal diarrhea yeah yeah so if two people are collaborating one person let's assume is afflicted by verbal diarrhea and another person is having verbal constipation both diametrically opposite situations but they become complementary <laughs> no not necessarily because both are independently suffering okay one wants to express but is not expressing and one is expressing incessantly excessively but there is no recipient before you can attempt corrective action others might feel are tera chehra theek nahi dikh raha hai kuch gadbad hai kya nahi nahi i am fine because there are no symptoms others are feeling ekdam chup baitha hai kuch baat nahi kar raha hai kuch to gadbad hai kuch problem hai no 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 there is no problem तेरे को कुछ प्रॉब्लम है इतना बात कर रहे तो नहीं कुछ नहीं है तो मैं नॉर्मल हूं मैं तो बड़बड़ा मैं बड़बड़ा खासा हुआ है इज नॉर्मल सो यू हैव नॉट रियलाइज दैट यू हैव अ प्रॉब्लम देन यू विल नॉट सीक ट्रीटमेंट सो मेकिंग पीपल अवेयर दैट यू आर नॉट ओके आई पुट अ थर्मोमीटर नो टेम्परेचर आई लुक एट योर स्किन नथिंग रॉन्ग आई टेक योर पल्स नॉर्मल तो मेरे में क्या खराबी है प्रूव इट टू मी ना मेरे में खराबी है तू चुप बैठा है वही तेरे में खराब किया और वो भी आपने दबा के रखा है आपने आपका दुख प्रकट नहीं किया सो अनलेस यू एक्सेप्ट दैट यू आर नॉट ओके यू विल नॉट सीक करेक्शन अदर्स कैन नॉट गिव यू एडमिनिस्टर यू डॉक्टर जबरदस्ती आके आपको इंजेक्शन नहीं आई थिंक यू आर इल टेक दिस इंजेक्शन नहीं कर सकते कोई सिम्टम ही नहीं आई डोंट फील आई मीन साइलेंस इज अ टूल which can be golden which can be deafening this is comfortable silence 